hi guys welcome back to the alpha crypto of channel where i talk about cryptocurrencies crypto airdrop crypto news and so many things in the crypto space i make videos on reviews on trading um i give information i give advice and um, basically i do a lot of content currently we have 4140 subscribers and we keep growing every day if you're watching my channel for the first time make sure you hit the subscribe button turn my bell post notification on so that when i drop interesting content you'll be among the first to see it the video i'm going to make today i'll beg you all make sure you watch this video from the beginning to the end because this video is going to do you a lot of good right um if you look at my channel most of the videos i make are on token reviews coin reviews and then i also do video on how to trade and post airdrop and everything but if you look at the last one month i've done so much on reviewing sheet coins and giving information about sheet coins now the truth is i never plan to go into reviewing sheet coins but then i saw that there was a very big challenge a lot of people were losing money they've got scammed and i felt somebody had to rise up to the occasion and help people and that is where um, it came out from like I, I saw that there was a problem i needed to help and assist so that i can stop people from losing their money and that is why i started reviewing sheet coins and the reason i'm saying this is because in this video i'll be teaching you guys how to review sheet coins yourself right not every time you say review this coin review that coin i'll be able to review everything you want me to review so i'll be teaching you guys how you can review sheet coin how you can do your own research because if you watch a lot of videos people will tell you um this is not a financial advice make sure you do your own research because any risk or any investment you make you are liable to bear the loss and the consequence and whatever whatever a lot of disclaimers here and there but the question is if people are telling you do your own research how do you do your own research and when i started um trying to review a sheet coin and stuff like that i did not see any video to help me like go and check online check on youtube search and see whether i can get a quality video that will teach you how to review a sheet coin there is nothing about it i'm sure most of you have tried to review a sheet coin but it becomes more complicated so in the press of me starting and doing it doing it over and over again i discover some tips and some techniques that i use and that is what i'll be showing you guys if you look at my old videos you see that most of my videos are on crypto trading how to use binance how to trade simple strategy um futures trading and stuff like i did a lot of trading videos but because of the read the the challenge that is in this um industry i saw that there was a major challenge in the aspect of shit coin people losing money that is why i moved to this place so look at it today i'll be talking about how to know a shit coin i mean how to review a sheet coin or a meme coin any of them or how to find a good sheet coin or a meme coin whichever one but major let me name it how to review a sheet coin a, a sheet coin or a meme coin or you could call it how to find a scam sheet coin or meme coin whichever one you call it you get the message and how to do your research and this is particularly for meme coins because if you want to do your research for a solid project is not the steps i'm going to be giving here it is more than that it is more than that like it's something that can take weeks and stuff like that so basically guys this video is going to be long but it will be one of the most um informative video you will get on youtube on how to review a sheet coin so the first thing you will learn how to if you want to review a sheet coin the first thing you need to do is to know the coin you want to have a name of a token you want to or a coin you want to review and one of the places that you can easily get coins to review is coin market cap so the first thing is you need to go to coin market cap or coin gecko to get a token and get basic information about the token right so you can go to coin market cap this is coingecko.com and this is coin market cap these two platforms are where you could get a sheet coin if a sheet coin is not listed on coin market cap or on coin gecko most likely the sheet coin is on poolcoin.app then that probably that token is new I'll tell you guys that if it's possible for you to hold on for a while before investing in that token, that would be very smart. If not, if you still want to review, there's a way you can go about it. But for the sake of this tutorial, let's assume because most of the shit coins, many shit coins are actually listed on CoinGecko and on CoinMarketCap, the ones that are serious. So let's pick a shit coin for example. I would have loved to use Wakanda Inu, but I know some people that if once I use Wakanda Inu, they'll be like, What is the, your problem with Wakanda Inu? So which sheet coin can I use? I'm still going to use Wakanda Inu. Let's say for example, I want to review Wakanda Inu. The first thing I'll do is I'll go to Coin Gecko or Coin Market Cap. Let me use Coin uh, Market Cap for the for this case study. <coughs> I'll search for Wakanda Inu. 
wakanda you know write the name of the coin you're going to see the coin will come out and the symbol wkd you click on it when you click on it what coin market cap will do once the coin is listed on coin market cap every information on that coin will be brought out on coin market cap you will not get all information but you get as much as you need you know to have an idea of what the token is about so when you come to coin market cap or coin gecko we can still search on coin gecko i will not be doing too reset but i'll just want to tell you guys that you can actually find this token on coin market cap and on coin gecko any of the to look at it is on coin gecko too you understand almost the same information on coin market cap is the same thing that would you also see on coin gecko now most likely you are going to see a chart a chart the chart is going to give you an idea of the direction the price is going whether the token is high or is low the last few hours and everything and even if the chart doesn't load if you can get the information on the token then you're in the right place first the reason i use coin gecko is that from coin gecko i can get basic information like the official website of the token if there is a white paper about the token i can see it on coin gecko i can see links to the community you know the community to check the people in the community i can see the source code if there is a source code there's a way you analyze source code i can get the contract address and i can easily know um if the token is built on the ethereum blockchain the binance blockchain the solano blockchain or any other blockchain you understand so these informations are the things i will use in reviewing the token so when you come to coin gecko you check the market cap if there's a market cap it is a very good sign the trading volume then you, you you look at the diluted market cap now there's something about checking market cap on coin gecko if you see an alarm icon i mean a warning or a danger icon like this it shows that the market cap has not been verified which means the information i get here might not be accurate that means you need to still also get a verified market cap this one you can get it on poolcoin.app but i'm not going to be talking about poolcoin. Uh, you know i already have a template of the way i want to this is the website poolcoin.app once you paste that contract address there pool double o you know it's going to give you the market cap and some other information you need but let's go back to coin market cap now the next thing you are going to do from this place is you look at the chart does the chart look ld for example you know that this token is actually going down it is in ld chart but you know that the token is going down so basically if you look at the last one month you can see the direction of the um token does the point it went very high then it came down right now it is down and stuff like that so you get basic information about the token then the next thing is that on coin market cap there is a place for overview where the creator of this token would have written a summary of what the project is about now a sheet coin or a meme coin is not a solid project basically they are most times created as meme token representing um like just for a community driven purpose you know there's a dog like shiba inu wakanda inu um dutch coin um floki and all those are just meme tokens that represent a dog a cat a rat little rabbit lion this most of those tokens are just tokens that are built to make fast money pump and dump skin that is why most of those tokens when you invest in them early you can take massive amount of profit they don't really have utility some of them later will end up getting utility when you check their roadmap and other information and over time if the developers decide to sit down and make the project worthwhile yeah it can get utility in the long run but the, the general idea of a shit coin is that a shit coin is meant for pump and dump pump and dump simply means you know you gather people you put money then after the coin, the price goes up, you take profit, and people that come late, the coin will dump on their head or lose money. So basically, that is what happens with a shit coin. But a lot of people have used this to make a lot of money. It is a shit coin that can give you some massive profit in the crypto space. But let's move forward. Now, let's say we are reviewing Wakanda. You know, the first thing is that you're going to read the overview of Wakanda. You know, look at this. Say Wakanda you know, is a community meme project forged from the deep and warm consciousness of human. Wakanda Inu is a digital meme token that represents the daily struggles and aspiration of the best aspect of whatever they say here, yeah, they've told you that okay, this is what the project is about. You know, you you think about it, you look at it. Does this make any sense? Does it not make any sense? They can tell you it's a community dream token. They can tell you whatever they want to tell you, but then you already have an idea of what the project is about. The next step, I'm using my own method. My next step from my method after checking coin market cap or coin get cool. If you notice what I did on Coin Market Cap and Coin Gecko was that I'm I'm going to be highlighting the points to you guys for those of you that are not taking note. Yeah, what I did here was first I checked 
I check market cap. I check market cap. I'm gonna write it out. Market cap. I checked um 24 hours trading volume. Trading volume. All these formations are very important. I check the people that are watching the token, the watch list. That will give me an idea of a lot of the number of people that are aware. I check the contract address to see whether it is built on Ethereum or whatever. And I have my reason for checking all these things. I check, I see if there's a link to the official website. Official website. Then I check the, I see if there's a white paper. White paper. Then I look for the community. The community, the social media, if there's a link to all those ones. And I see if there's a source code. So these are the things I check on CoinGecko. Then finally, I look at the overview. Overview. That's what I did on CoinGecko. Overview of the project is summary, right? Yeah, I also check the chart. Just have a glimpse through the chart to see if it is LD or not. The chart. That is step one. The next step is when you leave here. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go and review the official website. So when you want to review the official website, what are you looking for? Now the thing is, you don't know a scam project. We can only have an idea and see some flags or some things that will make you believe that this project is a scam. If you see a good website, you know it. If you see a website that doesn't make sense, you know it. So you, you open the official website and you begin to look for loopholes. You look for things that can give you a sign that this project is not transparent, is not legit. That is what you do. You understand? Because for you to know a scam project, that means it must be in the mind of the creator of the project. But what you do is look for the loopholes, the mistakes or things that will make you, that will make you doubt the project. You understand so if you open the wakanda you know official website now look at this look at from this place i'm over my mouse this is where this is a padlock this means that this took um, this website has the ssl certificate it means it is secured some website don't have ssl certificate which means if you put any information on this website it can easily get hacked you know you can easily get hacked you can lose money your information can be leaked that is one now these are basic things you should know. The next thing, look at the design of the website. Look at everything. Look through the website. Okay, do this website look like a website that makes sense? Is it basic? Is it special? Does it look like a website that was built by a professional? Does it look like a website that was built by somebody that is just somewhere trying to make fast money, right? Now, you come to the official website. Like this work and I know website, there's nothing really special about the website. It's just like a basic website that is okay. You know, it's not a bad website, but it is not a wow websites now the next thing is that you're going to check for some things on the website you're going to look for the white paper of the project on the website you look for the link to the official um, social media accounts now the link to the official social media account is here you can see where's the white paper there's a roadmap the roadmap of the project what they had intend to achieve what they intend to achieve is here um the white paper i think the white paper is the panthers words it's supposed to they are supposed to name it particularly white paper but this is the white paper then you have the token economies you know the token economies is basically the distribution of the token you know the ones that will be bonds the one that will be um, shared to people how they intend to spend whatever they get from the token and stuff like that now that is the token economics when you get all these informations and you look at them critically in details then you know if you are convinced or if you feel there's something not okay if you will go to a website you cannot find the white paper especially you don't find the token economics you don't get a roadmap you need to begin to ask yourself questions you need to be very careful right now from there most times you can get a link to where you can actually purchase the token on pancake swap or you can get the contract address on the official website but basically i've told you what you should look out for look at the interface look at the design i'm going to write them out for people that are taking notes now you're going to look at the design right they said they're going to look at the the design on the official website look at the security and some other stuff look at the security design slash interface right you, you, you look at the roadmap if there's a roadmap there you look at the link to the official website I mean sorry you, you look at the white paper token economics 
or tokenomics tokenomics in fact one thing you should also try to look for is information about the developers the developers or the creator of the project is it doxed Doxed simply means that the people that created the token have renounced it and they've handed over the power to the community you check if the some website will show you if the token has been audited you know and if they say it is audited look for a link that will direct you to um where it was audited you know which which auditing um crypto auditing i don't want to use the word firm organization which auditors in the crypto space audited there is it static you know you, you need to find that one out as well then when you check if you see that out of this information some of the things in this place are not present it is another red flag you know they you begin you begin to start asking yourself questions if there is no ssl certificate the website is not secured is a flag if the interface looks shady you need to be very careful if you read through the roadmap and it doesn't make any sense to you they begin to take note if the white paper looks like it is not professional like it doesn't have any sense of direction or anything you need to be also be very careful it could mean that it is a scam in the tokenomics you know the way the token is going to be distributed doesn't look favorable to you it doesn't maybe the transaction fee is very high and it doesn't make sense how they intend to use it then you need to also be very careful you need to be smart if you check the liquidity pool the con the quantity of token the liquidity if you think it is too small there's you don't have enough token in, in the liquidity all those kind of information are the things that would you should count as red flags then you check the developers are they anonymous because most times some tokens can be you know most of the shit coins you see that they say the developers are anonymous they don't want themselves to be known and this and this and this is understandable but when you see a project where the developers are out there they put their name you take the name you go on google you search for them and you see that truly these people really exist it will give you more confidence because if anything goes wrong you know the people to drag then you check if it is audited when it is audited it can increase your confidence your boost and if it is not you need to be skeptical now all this if you don't see any of this stuff is a red flag you need to take note do you understand if you leave the official website the next place you go to is you come back to coin market cap you can actually get this information on the official website but most times i prefer to use coin market cap you copy the contract address and look at the blockchain technology it has been built on this is the binance smart chain so if it is built on the binance smart chain you can check this on bsc scan right where's my so if it is built on binance smart chain you can scan it on bsc scan right if it's built on the ethereum smart chain, you can check itascan.io from there you can see the number of people holding the token these are some informations you will not see on coin market cap and on the official website and you know since it is a blockchain technology any information you see on itascan on bsc scan that means they are real like it is not manipulated so you say bsc scan.com or itascan for ethereum blockchain dot io right so i'm going to use this wakanda inu now if i come here this wakanda inu i copy this contract address since it is built on the binance blockchain there are some tokens that are cross chain or multi chain means they have different contract address you should also take note of them so you can check them on it you can check them on bsc scan so I'm going to change this to BSC scan because it is built on the Binance smart chain. BSC scan.com. Guys, this information I'm giving you is premium like. It is something that I don't think anybody has done anything as comprehensive as this. Um, it's just for you guys to have an idea of how to search for this stuff yourself. You know, at the end of the day, I'll keep reviewing tokens for you guys, but it would be nice if you guys can actually search yourself too. That would be good. So this is BSC scan. I'm going to sell this contract address. Look at it. So it will bring it out WKD Wakanda Inu. The name will be down here. Look at the name here. Um, you show you the creator contract. You see informations. Then from here, you can you can see the transaction. People that are buying the token and the time they bought, the duration they bought. Like a lot of people have bought this token today. Then if you live there, you can come here to check the uh, BEP twenty transaction. You know some other informations like that you can check them here right you can you can move forward and check comments yes you, you can most times i ask people to actually read the comment because people that have bought the token that have 
they can come and give you heads up and flags if the token is a scam or not so for example you look at different comment on this token um they said somebody saying this token is going to break record or whatever but there's nothing like a scam for now as regards this token now if you move forward you can check there's a token tracker here yeah? right but let's say we want to check for the number of people holding the token all you need to do is to just come to this place change this address to token and check the balances you know the number of people holding the token you know the quantity that is in the liquidity pool and some informations like that and i'm going to tell you if you are holding a token i see a lot of people holding more than five percent of that token you know you need to be very careful that is another red flag because if those people dump the token most likely you guys are going to lose money you know these are things that you should take cognizance of so look at this if we scroll up you're going to see that wakanda has 88,534 people holding the token so that we have got information of people holding the token you can see the contract addresses and the quantity of the token being held now this particular address has 76 and this i think this one is locked because there's a flag here yeah, this is the contract and um this is the one in pancake swap 1.5 percent this is bond address as as five percent then there's a particular address here that has 8.6 percent but after this one two three four addresses if you look at it nobody's having more than two the, like everybody the, the next is having one okay 0.5 percent there about so this particular address you need to know where this address is leading to who is holding this address and what is the address for right these are the things you, you you need to do you need to research individually when if you come to bsc scan you have checked you have known the people holding the token uh, that are holding different aspect of the token you know the quantity of people holding so so amount of the token the percentage then you move the next place you come to according to my okay i've, I've talked about the orders you know you have checked the orders all these ones are checked on bsc scan or itascan.io then the next thing you do is you're going to use various tools to conclude your research now if you go to the official website the white paper that is there you need to actually take your time to read the white paper understand the white paper study the white paper know if the token is a rebase token if it's a deflationary token if it's a reflection token all these things they have their meanings i will not be taking my time to explain this individually to you guys it's something you can sit down and do your own research yourself like what is a rebase token make sure you understand in details what the token is trying to explain to you what the project is about are they telling you that you're going to get profit are they telling you you are investing for charity are they telling you that you are just giving them money and you know because you have more than enough whatever they are saying you need to understand clearly and know why you are investing your money are they telling you they are locking the liquidity for so so period of time so the various tools you can use is that there are tools like dex2 and there's token sniffer i use those tools very well to actually scan through a token you know there are so many tools like that but these are the ones i use most of the time i use dex2 now one thing about dex2 is that dex2 will review the token to give you the red flags concerning the token it will show you things that you need to avoid you know and will tell you if this token looks like a scam or not that will also increase your level of um awareness about the token you want to invest your money in and also help you manage the risk you are going to invest your money in in as much as all these informations i'm giving here you know are very very important just know that if no matter the quantity of research you do and everything you do you there's still a room for um what they call it there's still a room for doubt you can still just just be very careful and finally you, you have to sit down look at all the information you have gathered and come to a conclusion do you still want to invest in this thing or not but those red flags are enough to give you insight of what can or could happen so when i do all this research i check through one after the other that is where i draw my conclusion and say okay um if there are so many inconsistency from the token sniffer i see that the token has a lot of red flags the official website has a lot of red flags the project itself doesn't make sense the market cap and other informations are not available and i see that this thing doesn't make much sense to me that i cannot come out and say this token is a scam this token is legit or it's not a legit so this is the same token the wakanda inu i take it to tokensniffer.com i've pasted the contract address here it's going to tell you this is the bsc scan 
um pool coin you tell you the date it was created second of november 2021 which is 24 days ago then they will not tell you about the rigs they say it is 40 over 100 rigs and will tell you the reason why it is 40 over 100 they tell you the token is sellable when you want to buy transaction fee is zero percent if you want to sell is zero percent which is good they'll take it they'll show you tell you the contract address have been verified you know then they come to tell you that the source does not contain a plausible contract address this is a red flag the source does not contain a mint function another red flag the owner have not renounced the contract address which means the owner still have influence over the behavior of the token which includes um disable selling minting new tokens and stuff like that which is another red flag so three red flags are here now you now ask yourself a token that the owner still has control over do i want to invest in it um the token that does not contain a possible contract do i want to invest in it um the token that does not have a means function do i want to invest in if you answer these questions and you think you still want to buy it you move on but after that every other information here like the, the older analysis that telling the number of people holding the token is less than nobody's holding more than 10 percent of this token they are all less than 10 percent which is safe um the creator address as um zero percent supply which is safe all other spots possess less than 10 percent supply which is safe there's adequate liquidity that has been locked then they tell you the owner wallet contains less than five percent of the liquidity which means the owner is not planning to rock pool and stuff like that and you know you have gotten this information now you come to this place community reports community reports basically means people that have invested in the token the community what they are saying about the project if anybody had reported this token in this orange place you're going to see the information they've given fake websites scam token owner rock pool all those kind of things you're going to get it in community reports so far it means there's no community reports then you now see that you go through everything you have researched for from the from the um from coin market cap coin girl cool checking those information i've listed out here the market cap the trading volume the watch the watch list people watching the token the contract address the official website the white paper the community the source code the overview the charts you know then you come to the official website from checking the security of the website the design the roadmap of the project the white paper the token economics the developers if the, web, the, the token is audited then you move to the contract address scan you, know, you check it out bsc scan it has scan solano scan or whichever contract it was built on you check the number of people holding the token if the people holding the token are less than um if they are like fifty thousand and above very very safe if they are five thousand and above not bad but it should have been better if they're up to ten thousand the higher the number of people holding the token the safer it is but if it is less than five thousand please you you can do without that token it's not safe to actually buy that token right you know the number of people holding the token is going to affect the market cap it's going to affect the the projects in the long run because the people owning the token are literally the community so if you move past that phase you're going to come to the various tools like dex tools and token sniffer i've used token sniffer for you guys there's dex tool I'm just going to open it and show you guys how it works. Um, I don't this video is already long. Dex2.io forward slash app and stuff like that. I'm just going to um, delete this and paste the account. I know contract address, control V, right? Enter. There is going to bring out the token from there. They're going to give you the information they can give you concerning the token. From Dex2, they will even give you the Dex2 ranking on a scale of 1 to 100. Where they think the token falls to okay so this particular token is not on dex2 so they tell you no peer is found for this token you know, not all tokens can be checked on dex2 anyway so let's say we want to now use a token that is on dex2 right look at this um to just do a review now what can i know because what can i know is not there then you can you can see from dex2 it will bring out the name of the token it will bring out the pair of the token it will give you the information it will tell you the dex stock desk score to show you number of people buying and selling this token at that moment look at it down below then if you move up you are going to see the total liquidity the daily volume the number of orders the total market cap then the dex score if the dex score is less than 50 let no 50 is actually small if it's less than um 75 you need to be very careful with the token but the higher the dex score 
the more confidence you get about that particular token because that is what the community has voted so if the community has voted 99 percent it means that they are very very sure that the token is safe and these are the ways you can check a shit coin and a meme coin yeah the process looks long but if you want to check a solid project oh my god it is way way other than this that is why most times if you want to review a solid project it takes me weeks days you have to do a lot of research you need to understand in details what the project is about but shit coins you can use this step quickly and quickly i've gotten the information you want to get this is just for educational purpose this is not um a financial advice and this doesn't mean that if you use this method you cannot still get scammed the only thing is that it's going to reduce the re the chances of you just getting scammed anyhow at least you know you you will be able to see signs and red flags and see why you don't want to invest in a project at all it will help you manage your risk that being said you find this my content very helpful and very good please make sure you hit the subscribe button turn my bell post notification on so that when i drop interesting content you'll be among the first to see it i really love you guys bye for now and hope to see you in my next video i give you another premium content